Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at how to create a new document using a template in the Microsoft Word app for iOS, and that will work on an iPhone or an iPad. It's pretty neat because even if you're on the road, you only have access to your phone, you can create a pretty beautiful looking document just using the preset templates that Microsoft Word provides and not having to worry about the formatting. So let's get started. This is the main account screen when you open up the app, and I'm assuming that you're logged into your Microsoft account. On the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see a button that says New. So tap that. And most people, they may immediately just tap Blank Document because they're going to be starting from scratch. But let's say you don't want to deal with all that starting from scratch, which requires a lot of formatting. And instead, just use one of their nice looking templates that they have for brochures, for reports, even for MLA style papers. I think they probably even have a screenplay or something in here, business papers, cover letters, whatnot. So let's say that I'm going to do a trip journal and they have one option there. So I'm going to tap that icon and basically it'll just open up a copy of this beautiful looking trip journal. It's already pre-populated with text and a picture. So let's just start to edit it. So I'm going to call it um, Autumn Kayak or Kayaking. Okay. And one issue with Microsoft Word on a tiny screen is you can't see everything usually, uh, but you can hide the keyboard and then you can see more. So Autumn Kayaking, I'll fill in the subtitle later on, and then maybe I want to add some text here. Instead of typing out everything on a tiny keyboard, I like to use the microphone feature, the dictation feature of your iOS device. So in the upper left corner of the keyboard, you'll see a little microphone icon. Tap that. Last October, last October, comma, I went kayaking in the upper reaches of the Charles River. Period. Here are some photos. Period. Tap done. Okay. Didn't add the period, so I'm going to add that right now. Okay, I'm going to hide the keyboard, and then you can see the text is there, plus the default text. So I just highlighted that and then pressed the delete button for the text, which is the, uh, it looks like an X in the lower right corner with the X. Okay, it's gone. All right, so looking good. Now, one problem. That's not kayaking. That's a picture of a canyon somewhere. Tap the photo once. You'll see it'll be kind of highlighted there and some options will appear. Cut, copy, delete, replace, new comment. Uh, I don't want to just delete it and then add a new one. I'm just going to use replace because this will go straight to my photos collection on my phone. And here we go. I have some nice looking photos ready to go. So let's take a look here. I think I'll choose this one. So I'm tap that. There we go. All right, that's a nice view. The Charles River in the autumn and then tap off of it. It actually gives you some options if you want to crop it or edit it. I don't want to do that. So that's looking pretty good. And uh, I can add the text, edit the text some more. Or I can see what it looks like in a mobile view. This is a mobile view. I tap the mobile view icon, which is in the upper right corner. It looks like a, a three lines inside of a square. And I can take a look at it. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And then, of course, if you want to save it, tap the left hand upper left corner, the button that looks like a uh, piece of paper with three dots. Tap name, and then you can create a name. Tap that, get rid of that. Bottom. Anyways, that's how you use the templates on your Word for iOS app. Very easy. You can create some great looking documents quite easily. It's already pre-formatted. For more information on how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, check out our book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.